All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to start saying all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. A double honest to the Apostles, Elsgrave Millstone, and Shalom, Wakasah, Lahabakyar, which is a um, piece of mercy to the elect um, throughout the four corners, wherever you may be. And my brother Omar from the branch of GMS Cleveland, uh, come back at you with another video. And, um, you know, this is, is uh, going to be a quick hit. Uh, probably like two or three precepts and um it's going to be centered around um uh, sirach 20 and verse 30 and 31 so, and it reads it says a uh, wisdom that is hid and treasure that is hoarded up what profit is in them both right now it's a question being posed man because wisdom we all know um well, we don't all know but the scriptures tell you that wisdom uh has, has her part in, in all things um uh, but in particular, we're, we're just talking about this wisdom. All right, it is it's 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 necessary that this wisdom uh gets brought out, you know, on, on on every platform if possible. You know what I'm saying? So it can reach what the elect, right? But we understand that um it's going to be on particular platforms that the Lord has already uh, set up through the Spirit and power of the Lord. Mainly, brothers use uh you know YouTube, uh you know Rumble. Some brothers have uh virtual accounts and you know, other, uh, you know, platforms that they use. Hell, some brothers even use social media to get the word out. But nonetheless, man, uh, we're not supposed to hide this, uh, this, uh, this, this, this wisdom. And actually, I'm going to get that parable as well about the talent. Um, so bringing it back, it says wisdom that is hid and treasure that is hoarded up with profit is in them both. Right. It says uh, better is he that hideth his folly than a man that hideth his wisdom, man. Yeah, so it's it's better that you hide your folly than you hide you hide your wisdom, man. Because if you have wisdom, I mean, um, especially you have this wisdom, then you can uh, make certain circumstances better, not only in your life but uh, you know, the people that surround you in the world in general. Because that's that that is the we're gonna we're gonna use this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, which is the scriptures, uh, to make the world uh, a, a much better place in the kingdom of heaven. Um, you know. In particular for the nation of Israel, but even for uh, the other heathens outside of Esau, because Esau that that nigga ain't getting no, um, he ain't getting no type of, um, you know, um, how can I put it, man? You know, he he basically gonna catch all hell in the kingdom, man. And especially um, after that, when the thousand years is up, he gonna get burnt. But nonetheless, uh, the world will be a better place using this wisdom. Not to understand it, even for uh, you other he heathens. You know, Mo Moabites, Ammonites, uh, Japhites, so forth and so on. So yeah, um, that's why it's, it's better to hide your father than to hide your wisdom. All right. So um, let me get um, let me get this in Luke real quick. Uh, matter of fact, hold on. Before I even get that, should I get that? Should I get this one first? Should have testified my savior openly. Yep. Second uh second entrance two and uh uh thirty five. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom, for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee the shadow of this world, or receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my savior openly. All right, yeah, so you're supposed to testify uh Yahabah Shimon Shah. And this knowledge that he that he's given it to you, you're supposed to testify openly. That's important. That's the importance of uh, doing videos, doing sit downs, and 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 more importantly, uh, being on them highways and byways, man. All right, that's what you're saying. Isaiah thirty and twenty. Uh, I'm saying that the Lord, um, that that teacher is not going to be removed into a corner anymore. You know, roughly, you know, roughly paraphrasing it. All right, but the eyes shall see thy teacher. All right, so yeah, man, we uh, we we you know we're you know, we're supposed to proclaim this truth, man. All right, on all levels, man. All right, now of course you know you you, you know you, you be in Clark Kent mode at, at times, like on your job, and you know, that might might be uh you know get <laughs> bored in a plane or you know what family event or whatever, you know. But you know that's that's uh, I come with um you know being seasoned as well. Um, so yeah, let me get this, man. Just want to make sure, like you know, you you're not hiding your talent. I believe it's this chapter or it might be uh 
lighting. Nineteen or might be a uh, twenty. Let's see. Uh, yeah, no, it's yep. How does time get a napkin? Yeah. Let me see. Uh, just want to make sure. I believe this is it, man. Kevin. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is uh Luke nineteen, uh, verse uh twelve. It says, uh, he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. All right. And this is, you know, this is a parable. All right. Going to say what? Yahweh And, uh, you know, basically uh, setting up those uh, servants, which is, which would be likened to the men that's going out there preaching, uh, you know, this word. All right. Um, it says, and he called his 10 servants and delivered them 10 pounds. Right. And said unto them, occupy till I come. So if the, the 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 talent, all right, or the pounds, if you will, is is uh, this knowledge, wisdom, understanding that's been given unto you, um, if you uh, received uh, you know this this word, whether you heard it on the internet, whether you heard it in, uh, in real uh, and you know in person, all right. But it says occupy till I come, occupy till I come. What does that mean? It means what putting in work, man, hitting the highways and byways, doing your lessons, reading, studying, uh, you know, things of that nature. Uh, you know, fellowship and doing, uh, you know, uh, studies, you know what I'm saying? 14, it says, but his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. It says, and it came to pass that when uh, he was returned, uh, having received the kingdom, uh, then he commanded these servants to be called uh, unto him to whom he had given the money that he might uh, know how much every man had gained by trading. And you you basically trade by uh by doing what man um let me see so I can see if I can uh pull up my uh let's see if I can pull up the blue letter real quick Yep, let me see real quick. You you trade by uh let me see you. You trade by uh going out uh, like basically uh, preaching a word, you know what I'm saying? Like say somebody come up to you and then um you know what I'm saying, or you at the job or whatever, it literally can happen anywhere, um, at any time. And then uh they, you know, you basically exchanging uh this wisdom with them. They might have questions or you might have overheard them talking about something and they, you know, they seem sincere. And then, you know, you get to break things down to them. That's that's trading. That's what the scripture's talking about. Um, business. I thought I was going to say something else, man. Let me see. Bear with me one second. Well, it says uh, to be engaged in business. Let's see. Thought I had, thought I had more witch column on it, man. More more heat on that. Just ground reason because of this reason. Of this account, nah. Uh, and I know sometimes too, Esau trade. Uh, he, he changes the definitions. Everybody think care of the business, care of the business, on a banker or trade. Busy myself, but. And what just says uh to, to occupy, all right. So um going back to it, the point. Let's see, uh yeah, I mean that's pretty much it though when it says um uh, it says that he might uh that he might know how much every man had gained by occupying or trading. All right, it says uh and w which you know, yeah, well, one of the definitions was to carry on a business, right? Cause this is a business, so you you what you carry on this business by by doing what by trading, by exchanging uh this information that the Lord has given you to uh to other souls. Uh, verse sixteen, it says, then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound have gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, uh, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, uh, it says have uh, have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came saying, Uh, Lord, thy pound have gained five pounds. All right. Um, it says, and he said, uh, he said, likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. And another came saying, Lord, behold, there is, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid, kept <laughs> laid in a napkin, man. Right. So he hid it, man. 
And I just read in Sirach 20, verse 30 and 31, I was better than a man hide his folly than his wisdom. All right. It's, it says, and he said unto him, out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man. It says, uh, taking up that I, I laid not down and, and reaping uh, that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest uh, not thou my money into the bank uh, that my that at my coming I might have required uh, my own with usury. Yeah, right, man. So you, you know you was, you you know good damn well, man. You were supposed to you the Lord gave this wisdom. You were supposed to do something with it. He didn't just give it to you so you can be this you know this this deep woke nigga at the party. You know what I'm saying, or at, you know wherever the hell you at, or trying to get bitches with the with this uh, with this wisdom. The Lord gave this wisdom so you can flip it, man. All right, you can get more, uh, um, you know, um, you know, basically, uh, you know, you can bring more comers into the faith, so to speak, because the Lord is going to bring in who he wants to bring in. We, he just uses us as the vessel to do so. It says, in verse 24, it says, he sent it to them uh, that stood by, take from him the pound and give to him the, uh, and give it to him uh, that have 10 pounds, man. Right. So the one that was on fire, that brother is <laughs> in the camp or whatever he he, that brother, the brother, the fiery brothers or the brothers that's on fire, they're going to take your portion that you have and they're going to give it to, uh, the Lord going to give it to the brothers that's on fire, man, because they're going to do something with it, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? And they said unto him, Lord, uh, he have 10 pounds. It says, and they said unto him, Lord, he have 10 pounds. It says, uh, uh for I said to you that every, uh, to you, it's like you, for I said unto you that unto every one, uh, which have shall be given and from him that have not even that he has shall be taken away from him you know what i'm saying so yeah you just want to make sure that uh you know you're doing something with this um with this wisdom man because as i say in the world if you don't lose it you if you don't use it you lose it and that is a true saying um uh, uh depending on um you know the situation man like for instance if you're a fighter and you don't train uh, you know, you, sh you should be sparring and that, you know, you got heavier days that you spar, uh, heavier and then, um, uh, a harder, should I say, and then you got lighter, uh, sparring sessions. Um, but nonetheless, man, you should be actively training and sparring, uh, you know, doing things that working on your craft, uh, cause it is a perishable, uh, skill. You know what I'm saying? Just like anything else, man. All right. You gotta, you gotta be active with whatever it is you're doing. All right. Same thing with this. You know, if you don't, if you don't, you know, go over particular breakdowns in scriptures. Uh, hell, you can't forget it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just the truth. All right, let me see. Um, uh, let's see. Pound. This is an austere. I know I ain't passed. Yep, here we go. Just want to look up that word austere. Austere, 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 austere taros. Strong's G eight forty. Austeros. Austeros. Of mind and manners, harsh, rough, rigid, man. Right. So it's, it's severe. The Lord was a rough man. You know what I'm saying? He was a, uh, you know, he was a, uh, you know, he was rough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Lord didn't fuck around, man. So we just got to be mindful. I remember Pastor did that video. A few brothers did response. Uh, we we working for the um, for the kingdom for the king of the universe, man. And uh, you know he he wants us on those shifts. You know what I'm saying? Doing what we got to do. Um, what's it on this man? It's pretty much it, man. Let me uh get these last few uh last few uh precepts. Oh, shit, that's I want. I ain't want to get this one first, but hey, Matthew ten and uh twenty seven. It says, "What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in the light, and what ye hear in the ear, that speak ye upon the housetops." Man, let me see what the uh. The NLT, uh, NLT version says. So it all it all goes into what proclaiming this word, man, proclaiming uh, this truth, man. All right, this is a uh, same same verse, Matthew ten and uh, twenty seven. It says, uh, it says, uh, what I tell you now in darkness, uh, shout abroad when daybreak comes. What I whisper in your ear, shout from the housetops for all to hear. Let me see what one more version says. NIV. It's verse 27 saying, uh, Matthew 10 and 27. It says, What I tell you in dark, speak in the daylight. What uh, what is what is whisp whispered in your ear? Proclaim from the roofs, man. Yeah, so basically you just want to make sure you're proclaiming this uh this truth, man. 
you know what I'm saying on whatever platform the Lord gave you. Hey, some you might live in an area, a third world country, you in, in somehow, some way the Lord, you know, uh, woke you up, man, right? And you might not have access to the internet all the time, but yeah, you might yeah, you preach the word, man. You know, you got brothers over there in the Philippines, and you know they all brothers are doing the work, man. Uh, last scripture, man, uh, Matthew five and uh, fourteen. You are the light of this light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Right, because when you see the brothers and you know the believers, uh, the rest of the believers, man, you know we we're that light and the shining forth in this dark place, man. All right, it says neither do men light a candle, and, that, and the reason why is it ain't because you know you might be dressed nice. No, it's because of this wisdom, knowledge, understanding the Lord has given you. Verse fifteen: Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and is and it giveth the light unto all that are in the house. It says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven, man. Yep. So, yeah, man, we we, we shine forth our light, uh, uh, you know, in this dark world. Or uh, as Elder Yock says, this, this present evil world. And, uh, you know, we just let uh, let forth our work show, man. You know what I'm saying? And proclaiming uh, Yahweh by Shemel shot throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And, um so it can reach to the ones that uh, the Lord has slated for salvation, and we can get the hell out of here, and this fucking place can burn, man. So, hey, man, with that, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rekha Kodash. Double honest to the Apostle Israel Millstone, and Shalom.